Hey guys, Angorchi222 here. Welcome back to Bait and Kados. In the last part, well, we got bulldozed by that clam thing, and in this part, well, hopefully I won't get stuck in such a ridiculous battle, and maybe we'll actually get stuff done in this part. Cool. Let's get down there before the crab yet. But wow, clam gets us. Why can't I talk? Hmm. I guess this is where it is. Hilted. Blocks come in. There isn't really that much of a challenge to this puzzle. Wait, can I not push this or something? There we go. You want to push them all, well, going down so that you can actually get them all in the holes. This puzzle can be annoying, but it's not really hard to figure out. So let's go down and see what's up there. Stupid clam. But of course, it doesn't even want to fight. Oh, hey, it's a frog. So, after this, I believe there's only one more puzzle and we're done with the dungeon. Yeah, let's drop it. Not climb, drop it. Already over the edge and there's nowhere else we can go. But first, let's go up here. And right into the clams. Decent. <sighs> Looks like I'm totally screwed over again. Like, how am I supposed to stand up to that? This is crap. And of course, me being me, doesn't pack any items I can use to run away with. Unless Kalos drew the Earth Sphere, then I should be fine. Okay, that should have been at least heard for more than that. Hmm. Well, I at least managed to... What was even so bad about them the last time? Oh, 
We should at least be able to survive this. Of course I waste my healing item, though. Yeah, 28 health. I'm kind of screwed. Then, of course, I get all these guard cards, but... They aren't gonna help if I have that little help. Of course, all Kalos happens to draw are healing cards. I also love how Mizui doesn't even draw her heals until after she's KO'd. Like, how good of luck do I have to have for that to be possible? Mizuti's up now. But, of course, because my luck is perfect, Mizuti is KO'd right after. You know, it's crap like that which is why you should be allowed to, well, be able to use healing items to heal after crap like that happens. Well, no. Like, they should work while you're guarding, because stuff like that is just stupid. I'm sick of Mizuri getting killed because they only go for her. If they would spread their damage out, this wouldn't even be bad. Like, this is only bad because I'm getting cards I don't need when I really... How is that a fair hand again? It's only going to go for Callus, and... This is just stupid. I really didn't need that. And this is probably going to be an absolute terrible hand now because of that. Yet another fight, Mizuti finishes dead. No reason or explanation for it, other than that the enemies are obsessed with targeting her and her alone. And I am not kidding when I say this. They don't have to attack her, yet they choose to anyway. Alright, can I get in there somehow? I guess not. Actually, I'm willing to bet I wasn't even supposed to push that down there. Well, I still have one flame at least. Let's 
see, is there anything else I can do first? Right now it I don't want to fight the frog. Can I go down from here maybe? I wonder if well, I mean this block is gonna help. Of course it doesn't. Might as well just push it down. Then I realize that I'm stupid and I could have very easily solved this puzzle by just pushing the block forward. That's hilarious. He tried to attack me but failed because I was climbing. So now we get one of these puzzles. And I... Do I even have another flame left? Okay, good. That's a total waste of a flame. Alright, let's just push this down first. Then go up. Seriously? So I can't climb down it? This doesn't make sense. So I guess I can't push it to the side. Just try pushing it again and then see what happens, because I guess it's the... Uh, Well, I'm completely out of flames, and it looks like that didn't help at all. <sighs> what a pain. This will go back to gather more flames. It'll solve the puzzle. <sighs> this is stupid, though. I don't even had issues with the puzzle because I couldn't move. I don't remember this place being this annoying before. I didn't want to go up. It's time to get all the flames we can.
Obviously, I came back here to get planes. <sighs> this really is annoying. Well, it looks like I have all the flames I can carry, so I'm going to go back up. Can I even push that in? I think all that does is drop a treasure chest. Yeah. I believe that's an equip for Savina. Let's put it on her. Total immunity to poison and freezing. Decent. <sighs> Let's get back up there. Just climb. <sighs> All right, let's take a look at the Yeah, I can only climb up here. Guess I'll just push it down since that's like literally the only way I can move it. same time, if I do this the way I usually do it, then... What a pain. And then I ended up fighting the clam again. But it's only two of them at least. And I guess that new equip burns Savina, but it does give some really good status boosts. So I guess I'm just not going to get a defensive card, am I? Whatever. <sighs> Hopefully this hurts. Hmm. Let's 
funny how little effort these guys seem to have dealing with my attacks. Yet the only resistance they put up to anything is physical attacks. Elemental is still really bad for me. Really? You're going to give me Shining Seraph after I use three really high-powered dark attacks. You do know how little sense it actually makes, right? This is just stupid. Thanks for the recovery. Use this. All right, let's get some damage going here. Say cheese. This. Hope you're photogenic. Come forth and take form of a blade. Sword style. Water blade. And that actually isn't too bad, given that damage was done with only two cards. I mean, this is really annoying because I'm always stuck with only one character that can actually attack. Because the enemies force that character to use their guard cards, but no others. It's not like it'll be living long if I keep getting off attacks like that. What a waste of a perfectly good set of healing items, but I need to have a good attack hand. This should be good enough. This should finish it off, hopefully. And it's down, at least. Uh, things are so annoying. And yet, yeah, doesn't look like I can access them from here. And, like, this really bugs me because I know what I need to do, but I can't do it. Wasting my flames. <sighs> this is so... Well, I have three of them at least. I mean, this doesn't make any sense, because it's like... 
I don't want to climb up. There's only one way this thing can move, and it's down. Can't go around anywhere. Here, I'm missing. Go away, frog. I mean, shouldn't I be able to get there from here? But I can't. a way to pull blocks, and this would be so much easier. If this really is a pain. I have no idea what to do whatsoever. Because it looks like there's only one thing I can do, which is push the block in. And then I think I just realized something. Yeah, I want to go there and do that. That was all it took. But hey, I got it now. Here it's really simple. All I have to do is climb. That's funny. There we go. Now I'm starting to get this. Down already. Alright. We're back up here. Push this thing over. that thing in. I don't want to climb up. I'm going to go down. There we go. Alright. Save for maybe a treasure chance? That about finishes the puzzle.
go away. I want to fight you. Okay, bye. This will be fun. I have to push that thing in while I'm moving. Well, this is awkward. Is that treasure chest just, just spawn on top of the frog? Whatever. Let's go get it. But of course, without the treasure chest, it's free to do whatever it wants. It's so funny and hilarious how it spawned right on top of the frog so it couldn't move. That's great. And now here we are, the real last puzzle. Well, not the real last puzzle, this is the last puzzle. So next time we'll finish this puzzle. See you guys for that.